everything that I bring on a camping trip to prepare my food, whether it's two nights or over a month long, this is the same exact packing list that I have. Everything fits inside this box. It's a little disorganized, why the lid's not on, but everything fits in here. Hopefully this will help you all create your list. The only thing that we're not gonna be going over are coolers to refrigerate your food because I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And I'm not gonna be talking about water. For me, I usually bring five to 10 gallons of water in big jugs. I fill them up either in the bathtub or the hose outside, and that takes care of everything. So basic necessities, bring a bowl, a plate. It's nice to use reusable, less trash, less waste, a lot less room that gets taken up in your bag. And then just rinse them out the second you're done with your water. Next is kind of a hodgepodge skillet pan. It kind of collapses, it stores really nicely. But otherwise, this is an old pot that I've had for years and I got a replacement in my kitchen. So this is what goes into the camping box. And I have a sealed, sealed lid pot that I can put directly on the coals if I don't have some type of stove uh, available or I run out of gas or something like that. You can use this, boil, boil your water. Basic, basic things, make some soup, water, heat anything up, Pop-Tart, grilled cheese. This is, the, this is the pots and pans. We bring a storage container full of kind of miscellaneous items that we don't always need, but there's usually a time or two we do need them. Inside of here, we have some collapsible bowls. We have a little flexible cup if for some reason we run out of drinking ware. We have a big old Eddie Bauer multi-tool. that got a built-in spatula, some prongs, a ceramic knife is always great. You can just toss it in and you never have to worry about it. And reusable silverware. I do tend to bring plasticware for utensils because if we make something with cheese or something like that, sometimes it's really hard to clean off if you don't get to it the second you're done eating, uh, especially just with using water or nothing else. So this, one of these has a little knife, spoon and fork. You can get these from quite literally anywhere, Amazon, REI, Academy. You'll be able to find these in the, in the camping section. We just have miscellaneous backup, little spatula, a serving spoon, a fork, a couple more spoons. If more people plan accordingly, if it's just you, then obviously pare this down to your one person. Obviously trash bags, you're gonna need a trash bag for something. This is a miscellaneous box of Camping lights, we have lights, flashlights, uh, headlamp is, headlamp is probably the best light that you, if you're gonna pick one, get a headlamp for when you're cooking at night. This is gonna save all your troubles trying to figure out if the chicken's done or what you're doing or if it's cooked all the way through, this is what you need. Area lighting is nice just for everybody else, but if you're cooking, headlamp is what you need. And then to cook the food, we have a Magellan two burner stove. Very basic, it's the traditional looking Boy Scout camping stove and there's a reason for it because it works. It's very simple. All you have to do is hook one of these little mini propane bottles up to it. Make sure you bring a lighter for this, that way you can get it going. But it couldn't get really much easier. This is just like having a kitchen with you. It has these nice wind blockers. So I do keep it in the box every time after I'm done using it on a camping trip, I will slide it back in here. The packaging is actually really nice for storage. And it keeps it flat and it keeps this from getting messed up if you drop the box or if you drop something else in there. Now this last one's a little different. It's not really cooking equipment. However, it does live with the cooking gear. And the reason for that is it's got a little bit of everything. I've got extra rags, I got a hatchet, some bear mace, a lot of medical supplies in here. Uh, some miscellaneous tools, another hammer. And really what this is, is a second go-to bag because generally, at least in my truck, the medical bag, while it's easy to get to, once you're at a campsite, it's underneath a handful of things because you're trying to get your sleeping bag out, all your stuff, your clothes, and you're like, I don't need that, get that out of the way. And so it gets underneath 15 things by the time it's time to go to bed. It is nice to have this type of medical equipment with the person with the knives and the fire. It's a nice to have, but this lives in the same box as my cooking gear. So when the cooking gear comes out, this comes out, and everybody that's there knows that this is a place to run to should somebody need something quickly. But that's it, this is, this is all I bring. This has been the same camping list that I've had, whether I went for a weekend long trip or a, over a month long trip is my longest one really. And this is this exact setup I have. But having a hot meal is really important when it gets cold outside, whether it's heating up a sandwich, goes a really long way on a camping trip, or just making some soup it really turns the mood around and really keeps the, 
trip going in a in a positive light so definitely encourage a way to heat up food on a camping trip especially if there's more than one person leave a comment let me know if this list seems like it's too lit too light or if it's a little overkill i'm curious what y'all think about this and uh we'll see y'all on the next one peace